Bringing rescued migrants to safety and having to follow anti-COVID protocols is the latest challenge NGO rescue ships are facing. It looks like the ongoing conflict in Libya and not the spread of the outbreak is what is pushing more migrants to set out from Africa to reach Europe. Even though ports across the Mediterranean Sea were closed as they were declared unsafe due to the health emergency, the pandemic has not stopped migrant departures. Travel and security restrictions during the outbreak Break slowed down humanitarian activities in Libya, leaving migrants with only one option to leave. For its first rescue operation after the lockdown, the Italian NGO Mediterranea Saving Humans applied the protocols on maritime transport given by the Italian government and those provided by the International Chamber of Shipping. We had to change our protocols when it comes to distributing food and clothes. We basically stuck to the rules you would follow inside a hospital. We had gloves, visors, protective clothing. Of course, it wasn't easy when you have 67 people on board our ship, which is not that big, especially when you have to respect social distancing between the team and the rescued people. Departures from Libya have increased compared to the same period last year, but it's too early to establish a link with the pandemic. The fact that NGO rescue ships were not operating at sea during the lockdown period did not discourage migrants from leaving. NGO ships could not operate at sea because ports were not available. They were left without a place to disembark the migrants. But despite that, departures figures remained high. That proves that rescue ships' activity is not a pull factor for those migrants. The proof that migrants seem to be more concerned by the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Libya comes directly from their stories. When we told them you have to self-isolate for 14 days, they didn't react. They would mainly think about their experience in Libya. Their main goal remained escaping from what they call the Libyan hell. They are ready to do so knowing that they risk their lives. But in the coming months, the outbreak could affect the EU redistribution mechanism and the reopening of the borders following national lockdowns across Europe.